Jeffrey has finally mustered up the courage to ask his crush out, Jessica. He's been obsessing over her for months and now it's his chance. Surely she'll say yes. I know everything about her from the thousands of hours I've spent scrolling down her Instagram page. Is Jeffrey going to win her over? Of course not. Can we just be friends? Says Jessica. Tough luck, Jeffrey. Adonis has his eyes set out on Anastasia, but he navigates the situation very differently to Jeffrey. Adonis didn't obsess over her every night. He walked over to her, gave her a genuine compliment, and she was impressed. Because of this, Anastasia is now the one who obsesses over Adonis. First of all, what is the friend zone? The friend zone is a form of a rejection that girls can use against guys who they don't want to totally reject for various reasons. Maybe one, they think you'll be like really creepy or aggressive, or two, they just don't really, you know, feel comfortable saying no to you until they're just trying to be nice and say, yeah, can we just be friends? Or three, sometimes it can be actually a real thing that she actually wants to stay friends with you. Although I think that's like very, very rare. You need to figure out with total honesty why you're in the friend zone, which a lot of guys can't do. If you could do this, you have my respect. If you could sit here right now and ask yourself, why am I in the friend zone? And then also ask yourself, what kind of man would I need to be? What would I need to look like? What would I need to do to be the kind of guy who she doesn't put in the friend zone? And in fact, she dates or even sleeps with. If you could answer that question, honestly, you don't even need to watch the rest of this video. I will give you four ways to escape the friends or honestly like do your own level of critical thinking and just be totally honest and ask yourself yeah like what is it about me that i could improve that then i could be the kind of guy that she would never even think of like putting into this like bucket fuck okay the issue with this which gets really tricky is that a lot of girls don't actually tell the truth why they want to stay friends with a guy and i can just picture there's going to be a lot of guys right now who are going through this shit with you know some girl and the girl's kind of telling them something which is kind of like a lie but she doesn't mean to be like a bad person for it and the guys genuinely believe in it. You need to get a little bit red pilled. You need to understand that there's a certain kind of guy who she doesn't friend zone. There's a certain kind of guy who she'll meet and she'll fuck and she'll suck his dick on the first time she meets him. And you are sure that the girl that you're into is not like that. You are sure because she's told you other things, bro. Probably is true. It fucking hurts to hear it, but like you need to understand. A lot of guys get hurt with this. A lot of guys get just like led on by some girl who just wants to be friends and it fucks up your mental health when like you still are meeting this girl, you're texting her, she's replying to you, you send funny memes, you have a good time together and then where anytime you want to like advance something she's kind of like stops it and yet you keep meeting her she keeps meeting you in this situation i'm not gonna lie as much as you know i don't want to hate on women a girl who's putting you through this kind of situation is kind of a bad person because she understands what's happening and if you've made your intentions clear to her and you've you know kind of like tried to do something with her you've tried to ask her on a date and she's like no no can we be friends and then she's actually still trying to be friends with you the thing is she kind of knows that you're there overthinking about wanting to kiss her or something so you're both in the wrong with this but you're the one who needs to take responsibility so if you found yourself in the friend zone there's four ways that you can get out and the first one and most important is disappear and focus on yourself you're watching this video right now because you don't actually want to be her friend you need to say this right here right now don't fucking lie you don't want to be her friend bro it is nice to be around women it's nice to be around a woman that you're attracted to you get that subtle testosterone boost when you speak to an attractive woman and everything it feels awesome to be around a woman but the thing is you need to be totally honest hold your hand up right now and say i don't want to be her friend just hold your hand up and say that and just for once be truthful to just you no one else is gonna know just say it to yourself i don't want to be her friend i want to date her I want to fuck her, but I don't want to be her friend. I'm pretending to be her friend right now, and I'm not even having a good time. I'm hanging out with her, texting her, hoping that eventually I can go and like date her. I clearly don't actually want to be her friend. I want something else. So since you don't want to be her friend, but that's the position that you're in, you need to disappear. There's nothing else you can do. You can't convince her. You can't change her mind. Disappear and work on yourself. Stop replying to her messages. Stop meeting her up on dates. Dates, like you're not even going on dates or anything, but like you think it's a date. She doesn't, bro. Come on. Stop meeting her up for these things. Stop texting her and giving her instant gratification, giving her like another dopamine spike every time she sees a note notification from you and then a bit of like a letdown feeling when it's not some other guy that she would prefer i know this fucking hurts to hear stop disappear go work on yourself get into the gym and if you want me to give you seven free workout routines that i've personally designed that will make you look like sexy and more attractive to girls there's a link in the description do something productive like that and you will feel awesome and you know what's gonna happen for the first time since you've met this girl you know you've been awkwardly like chasing her like she's been kind of like running away from your attention like you know leading you on a little bit dangling the carrot in front of you well now it's gonna be the exact opposite where you're gonna disappear and she's gonna ask you like oh hey i haven't seen you in a while. She's chasing you now. Just like that, bro. Disappear. One week, two weeks. Don't say anything. Don't meet her. Don't text her. Don't send her any fucking memes. If you have to like be next to her, so if you work with her or if you're in the same class, just be polite, but just slightly indifferent. Be kind of nice to her, then just go focus on your work, speak to someone else. And I guarantee within one to two weeks, max, you'll find that she's actually starting to like chase you a little bit and she'll be sending you messages like, oh, hey, we haven't been speaking for a while. And this is exactly what happened to me with one of the first girls that like friend zoned me when I was first getting into like a sexual age. I've told this story before where I was 18 years old and I just started university and 
I was commuting. So this is before I moved to the university student halls. And I was commuting, taking the train and everything. And I remember in one of the first classes, there was like this beautiful Greek girl who I ended up speaking to. She seemed to be into me on the first time we met. I get her number and we're talking about like, oh yeah, like a group of us from our psychology class will go on a night out together. And I remember her literally sending me the message like, oh yeah, like by the way, like you can just stay over at my place since you don't have to get the train back in the morning. I was a virgin at the time thinking, bro, I'm gonna get laid. I go on a night out with this girl. She's fucking hot. She's there with one of her friends, one of my friends. We go on to a club together. You know, I didn't have like the confidence to really do anything in the club to like, kiss her or something, but eventually we all leave and we're about to get a taxi back to her place to just go to sleep. And me and her start kissing and stuff. My heartbeat's going fast, bro. Holy fuck, I'm gonna lose my virginity to this beautiful girl. Get back to the apartment and my friend's gone and her friend's like wants to go to sleep. And so we start like, kissing and stuff. And eventually we go to the living room and things get like really fucking heated. I'm literally about to lose my virginity here with like such a beautiful girl. The years I had been to the gym and everything, it's gonna pay off. And just my heartbeat was going so fast. I was so like anxious and my dick wasn't gonna get hard. Like, you know, she's like on top of me grinding and stuff, trying to get me hard and stuff. And like, I just felt so like anxious and like just overwhelmed to the point that I just looked at her and said like, oh, sorry, I, I can't do this. And she just slumps her shoulders, just looks at me and just says, oh, okay, well, you're okay sleeping out here on the couch then, aren't you? Just stands up, goes back into the bedroom. So, you know, that was a small thing for her. It's like, oh yeah, you know, this chump, they don't want to fuck me, whatever. For me, bro, I attached myself to this girl and I got friend zoned hard after that. I really wanted to fuck her. I really wanted to date her. I would have been so awesome. Like wanting to be this girl's friend for a while. You know, I was still like in her friend group and everything with my friend and everything. We're still like speaking every day when we go to our university lectures. And I just remembered like it got so uncomfortable to the point that like I was kind of a friend, but I just would obsessively think about dating and fucking her. And eventually she started sleeping with like other guys. Like, you know, she was a single 18 year old, 19 year old Greek girl in a different country. So she started going to like nights out and getting like fucked by different guys. And she'd like subtly talk about it next to me, like with her girlfriends. And I would hear it and feel fucking sick to my stomach. And so this went on for literally months. And I remember just, it used to feel fucking horrible. There was one time when I came into my class. So this wasn't in like a big lecture hall, but more like a classroom in university. And one of her friends was sat on the table by herself. I wasn't very close to that one friend. So like I go and sit on a different table, just kind of iron up the doorway thinking, okay, when this girl comes in, hopefully she's going to sit next to me. And literally she walked in, saw me, waved, sat back down next to her friend. Her friend comes in, sees them, sees me, kind of waves, sits down. Like, And I just remember like just being like sat by myself thinking like, we're not even friends. Like I wish I could like drill this into your mind. That realization fucking hit me. I realized we're not even friends. I literally have just attached myself to this girl because I'm so desperate and needy. And you know, it feels nice to be around her in the small times that she's like, you know, paying attention and we get into like a nice conversation. It always felt so fucking nice to be around her, but I realized we're not friends and I'm not the guy who's fucking her or dating her. So what am I doing? I remember that exact day I decided I'm not gonna stay in this fucking friend zone. It's cringe. And since that moment, I've never been in the friend zone again since like age 18. But you know what I did? I disappeared. I stopped replying to her text messages. I stopped like liking her pictures on Instagram and shit. And I started to focus on myself. You know, I was already going to the gym and stuff, but you know, I was like in the gym thinking, yeah, like this, you know, this is going to get back and shit. And guess what happened? Exactly what was expected. She starts liking my Instagram pictures. She starts commenting on my Instagram pictures. I remember how fucking nice this would be. I would post like an Instagram shirtless picture. You know, all my old friends from like my hometown followed me. All the new people who I knew from university followed me. And this hot Greek girl was commenting like emoji, like the fire, like heart eyes emojis and shit underneath my newest shirtless pictures. I felt fucking amazing thinking, holy shit, she's into me. But like, I kept on, just stayed, you know, silent, kept on working on myself. And I remember receiving a text from this very girl, sending me a paragraph like saying, hey, what, what's going on with you? It's been so long and like, you don't even speak to me anymore. And I remember just thinking then that, holy fuck, like I could actually end up dating this girl. And then I fucked up. I fucked up big time. And that leads us to the second way to get out of the friend zone, which is create a new identity for yourself. Because you see what had happened. I only followed the first way that we spoke about, which is disappear and focus on yourself. I did that and it worked. She was now chasing me. She wanted me. I didn't change my identity. You see, I only just went to the gym. I just, you know, focused on myself. And, you know, it was like quite shallow things. You know, I went to the gym, fine. But I didn't do any like deep sort of internal psychological changes to change how I believed about myself and the situation and my identity. And so what do you think happened? She sends me this big paragraph. Like she's in my frame. She's chasing me now. She sends me this paragraph that she misses me. And you know, uh, what do you think I did, bro? I sent her a big paragraph back. Well, actually, you know, I may have been shooting you and I really like you. And sometimes it just hurt hearing you talk about other guys and I really, oh, like, oh I want to date you. I didn't change my identity. I sent her that massive paragraph back. I don't remember exactly what she replied. I know she didn't ignore it, but she just kind of said something like, oh yeah, whatever, like, it's not, not going to work out and stuff. Sorry, like, I just see you as a friend. Boom. I should have changed my identity. I still saw myself as the guy who was friend zoned by her. I still saw myself as the guy who was like below her. After I disappeared and focused on myself and you know, I did that for a couple of weeks. I should have started to like implement like a new identity for myself. Like, yeah, like you know, I'm better than that situation. Like, yeah, maybe she can come and like, uh, maybe I'll date her or something. Maybe if she's good enough, I'll date. You know, like this sort of more empowering personality for you to hold because I still held the same kind of personality where like, you know, she was above me and I really wanted her, even though I was like focused on other things, but I was kind of still focused on her, but you know, just not really messaging her.
messaging her, but I was focused on the gym, but I wasn't actually. And so eventually when she did message me and I thought, you know, I had her, my same sort of friend zone needy personality came in and it just repulsed her. Update your identity to no longer be needy. That's one of the greatest things that you can do as a man to actually attract women, not just get out of the friend zone, but just in general to attract way more women than you're currently doing now. I promise you, you need to not be needy. Neediness is such a repulsive trait in men. Now in women, it's actually kind of attractive. Now some guys might disagree, but the thing is, if you're a masculine man, having a feminine woman who's needy for you is absolutely normal. You can't be unattracted to that if you're a masculine man. There might be like some feminine guys watching this. You might be one of them who straight away when I said needy, they were like, oh, I don't want a girl who's needy. If you're more feminine, you probably don't want a girl who's needy because you'll be attracted to more of a masculine independent woman. But if you're a masculine man, you'll be attracted to a needy dependent feminine woman. So neediness in a feminine woman's attractive. Like we as masculine men fucking love that. Yeah, like we want her to need us. But women are not attracted to needy men. It's just repulsive. It's disgusting. It's just a horrible trait to see in like a grown man who like needs this little girl who's just so creepy. Not even creepy, but just who's like so desperate for her. It's just so unattractive. You need to change this part of your identity and hopefully you can take this seriously. The fact that you've watched this much of this video, I promise you, you are needy as fuck. I promise you that's the truth. Right now, you're probably thinking I'm talking about someone else. You're probably so sure that it's about someone else. Oh yeah, he's not talking about me. I've moved on past that stage of my life. I'm not needy. Uh, I'm not even insulting you when I say you're needy because sex, love, and relationships are quite literally fundamental needs. They're at the bottom of Maslow's hierarchy of needs for like just life and happiness to have relationships. So it's so weird. It's a fundamental need and yet we can't come across as needy. The dichotomy of understanding that love is a fundamental need for humans, but also whilst knowing that being needy about love is fundamentally unattractive. I get it because I've been needy for like a large part of my life, but it was around this moment. Yeah, it was exactly with this girl that I realized that being needy is not going to get me what I want. So I updated my personality from no longer being that needy guy who was obsessed with the girl that I want to being more of this aloof guy who doesn't care that much. And that made me irresistible. I honestly suffered in this situation. I was friend zoned by this girl for months and months and months, eight months, nine months. You know what's happened after this incident? You know, when she sat down on a different table and I realized, okay, I was just being needy. I said like, focus on myself and stuff. You know what happened? I started creating this new like alpha male personality where I was no longer focused on the girl. I was no longer desperate for her. And straight after that, I actually started to have sex. I got my first ever girlfriend. I started to have sex with her. We eventually broke up a few months later. So my first like real girlfriend. And after that, I actually started to get so many girls that I became like known as like the fuck boy in like university and like not in the Thai uni, obviously, but like in my uh, student halls building and by the people in my network because I changed my identity to no longer being this like needy, desperate guy. And I just changed it to like, yep, the guy who's got an abundance. The red pill really helped me with this. The third way to escape the friend zone is to make your intentions known. So let's say you've been friend zoned by this girl. You're going to follow this guy. So the first thing you've done is just disappeared and you're going to start working on yourself. And then you start to update your identity, your beliefs, your personality to no longer be needy, to no longer be the guy who's okay with being like, you know, her friend or something. And eventually this girl's going to message you and she's going to like slightly come after you a little bit. At this point, it is crucial for you to make your intentions known, but in like a smooth way. So don't make your old intentions, your old identity known. Don't, don't, oh, I've always liked you. I did that, right? So no, I always liked you and I, oh, I really want to do it. Don't, no, no, no. That was your old intentions. Your new intentions is like this more like cool boy kind of attitude of like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm busy, but like, I want to take you out. Think about how attractive that personality is from a guy where now you've just stopped, you know, chasing after her and stuff. You've got a new personality. You're no longer needy. She sends you a message like, oh, you know, I've not seen you in a while. What's, what's going on? And you just say like, I don't want to be friends with you, but I want to take you out. Just make your intentions known that direct. And that can seem really scary. Honestly, that can seem like really exhilarating to think about. But the reason why we do this is because once you've already started to focus on yourself and you made some progress and you've got a new identity, at that point, it's like all you can do is just be honest and see what her response is going to be. Maybe she's just not going to be interested and she's just going to say like, oh, no, but I just see you as a friend. That's a possibility. But maybe, just maybe, she's going to be thinking like, okay, well, yeah, we can go on a date. As long as you keep up this new identity of the guy who's more focused on himself and his work than your focus on your need for her. This is the stage where you need to start polarizing. Polarizing means to like push her to like to sort of the extremes of loving you or hating you. So you need to be okay at this stage to potentially just like losing her from your life at all. If that also means the potential of ending up dating her or sleeping with her, you need to be okay with that split. Most guys who are stuck in the friend zone is because they don't want to polarize and they just keep women here in this like neutral safe zone, which they won't have like a nice friendly conversation because they're too afraid to like push out. You need to be okay with this. You need to be okay with some girl just rejecting you and just being like, no, I'm not interested. I don't want to go on a date with you or with her saying, yeah, let's fuck. You need to be okay with these. Most guys, of course, want this, but they're too fearful of this, this rejection. And so they just stay in this middle zone instead. This is the point where you will no longer treat her like a friend ever again. She's not your friend. That was never your intention. It's time to just grow some balls and just think to yourself, yeah, I don't even want to be friends with her. My intentions are clear. I want to date her. I want to sleep with her. I'm going to make that clear. I'm going to ask her out on a date. No longer will you pretend to keep being her friend because it wasn't working for you anyway. How long are you going to keep that game? 
game going up for. I know it's a lot more comfortable to just, you know, no, I won't ask the question just yet. You know, I'll wait. It's so much more comfortable to do that, but you're not even gaining anything from it. You're watching a video like this because it's fucking up your mind. Now is the time to just make your intentions clear. And so the fourth step that we need to talk about, the fourth way to escape the friend zone, forget her and move on. So this is more of a permanent step than the first one. The first one was just, yeah, just focus on yourself for a couple of weeks and she'll probably come back to you. And she's still treating you like a friend or she says she's not interested. This is the point that you need to think, yep, well, I don't want to be friends with her and she doesn't want to date me or sleep with me. So there's nothing that we can have together. You need to be okay with losing this friend and just move on. Take this as a learning lesson for the next time. When I got friend zoned by that girl when I was like 18 years old, I made almost like a vow to never go through that kind of situation again. I've seen my friends go through similar situations and it's just always just made me cringe and you know, a little bit angry going through this myself and seeing it with other friends. And I just vowed, okay, never again. I'm going to forget this one particular girl and it's just not going to happen. So I'm going to move on. You can either be bitter or be better. So you could spend some time right now thinking, you know, yo, fuck this girl, yo, whatever, whatever. It's not going to help you. And it's just going to mean that you're a little bit like of a bad person. Leave this situation better. Leave it with this new understanding of how to polarize women to always just push them to either really like loving you, wanting to go on a date with you or just not being interested and just they reject you straight away. Never be safe and stay around here because that's just unattractive for guys. If you discipline yourself to follow these four steps to get out of the friend zone, you will see results. You can almost visualize focusing on yourself, disappearing for some time, putting in some work in the gym, getting higher grades and eventually getting that text from her or seeing that like from her on Instagram and now feeling like, oh, you've got a little bit more power than you did before. The next time you see her after she sends you that text message, you've still got this new cool personality. And for the first time in a while, you break the physical touch barrier and it actually feels fucking nice to do it. And she seems receptive and she's actually holding your eye contact. And then you just tell her to come meet you for a date and she's actually down and excited for it. And you wonder why you needed to stay in the friend zone for all this time. Scroll down to the description of this video and click on that seven free workouts routines link. Focus on yourself, get into the gym, build a new body, build some confidence and she might be yours. Click and watch this video right now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.